So obviously there's only a select few that kind of end up here on the top for the Google AdWords. Is there any tips that you can give somebody if they're not utilizing Google AdWords to, to figure out how they can get this their ranking up a little bit higher, I guess, versus just kind of throwing the money at it to get it on the top of the page? Sure. Well, what you're looking at right there, scroll up a uh, down a little bit. So you've got the map pack actually up by the map. So after the map pack, you're going to see the first of your organic results. These are these are what is being driven by the actual SEO on your website. So this doesn't cost you anything but the time and the effort or whatever. If you're doing it yourself, it doesn't cost you anything but your time. Or if you're using a company, this is where the efforts of SEO on your website are going to show up, whether you come up here or not. Now, to answer your question, whether you want to make sure your website is uh, th there's proper SEO that has everything to do with keywords on your pages, meta descriptions, alt tags on your images. There's just a whole lot of things that we could get in the weeds on with regard to SEO that are technical SEO, backlinks to your website, all types of different things like that that play into that. But where organic or free results versus paid results come in is let's say that you don't you're a newer company and you don't have good organic results because it does take a little while to populate up those organic results with a new website things like that that might be where you should plan to supplement that with adwords as your website has time to begin working its way up the rankings you're still showing up at the top of the page. But over time, you can make a decision whether you can pull back on AdWords because you're getting really good or organic results. However, uh, you know, you could call it cynical, whatever. But you notice as we look at this page where Google's putting the emphasis, obviously, the organic results, you've got to scroll your, you know, down to here before you see the first organic result. So, by then, you've actually seen four paid results, one in the map pack and three above it, and you've seen the map pack results. So I think SEO is super important, and you ideally want to show up as many times on this page one, as they call it, as you possibly can. Um, the reality is that if you're brand new or, or, or you just are starting doing SEO, you may want to consider running AdWords just so that you can have some good results until your organic results have a chance to really work. So we talk a lot in the industry about above the fold. And what that means is like when somebody opens up a search result, what is visible before you even start scrolling? And as you can see, almost everything is, that's visible is actually paid. That's not by mistake. I mean, Google wants to make money and this is one of the ways Google makes money. So unfortunately, like I said, I think, um, you know, organic results are still very important and you want to do that. But just be aware that the brand new company that came in down the road and properly builds out a Google AdWords account could show up at the very top of this. And I personally don't typically click on sponsored ads. I like to scroll down and see what's coming up in organic. But a lot of people do. And a lot of people click on the map pack results. So I would say you definitely want to pay attention to those two areas before you spend a ton of time and money on SEO, because as you see, you've scrolled down quite a bit before you even get to the first organic result.